This video is aimed at deepening your understanding of sex and gender and help you effectively communicate the difference to your learners. Why isn't there equality for all? Why aren't we all safe at night? Does the sweetness of nightfall hold delight for us all? There are some who roam freely, but most are trapped by the dark, while others live in fear of the dark. Dreams don't distinguish between boys and girls. Then why does society decide which dream is realized and which deferred? 13-year-old Vishwapriya raised these questions through this poem. Do you have these questions too? Have you ever wondered why girls have a curfew while boys get to go out at night? Or why men are always expected to shoulder the responsibility of providing for their family? If you found yourself questioning all this without ever finding a satisfactory explanation, let us try and find the answers through a small activity. For this, you will require a pen and a paper. Here are some balls and you have to put them into two baskets, boys and girls. When we say boy or a girl, there are certain characteristic features that instantly come to mind. Say you were to organize these features into two categories, how would you do it? Pause the video for a bit while you categorize them. Now take a look at Dimpy and Shubham's baskets. When Dimpy did this activity, she assigned handsome, strong, moustache, aggressive, provider and voice change to boys, while Shubham chose breasts, menstruation, soft-spoken, pretty, homemaker and delicate for girls. Do your baskets look like Dimpy and Shubham's? Then that means we all think alike. Now let's explore why. Take a moment and answer this question. When you're hungry, whom do you ask for food? Select your answer from the options on screen. When we ask the same question to five youth in our network, they chose mother. Here's what they had to say. Ashna from Siliguri said, Mummy is the only one who's home. Papa leaves for office every day. Rahul from Hyderabad said, Only Ma can cook the food the way I like. Vaishali from Chapla said, Ma has always cooked for everyone. Suraj from Deogar said, Mummy likes to feed us all. It comes naturally to her. Chandni from Panipat said, when you think of cooking and nurturing, mummy is the most obvious choice. Women are traditionally regarded as the carers and managers of the household, while men are expected to go out, work and earn a livelihood. But is that a tradition we have to follow? More importantly, who decides these gender roles? Because in reality, many men are taking on roles like childcare, cooking, household chores that were traditionally considered feminine. And many women are going out and working along with men. So the fact is, most of the characteristics you sorted just a while ago apply to both boys and girls. But where is the real difference then? The answer lies in the difference between gender and sex. When we are born, we are assigned a sex based on our biological characteristics whereas gender refers to the definition of people in their socio-cultural context. By that logic, voice change is a characteristic of the male sex, while menstruation is a characteristic of the female sex. They are largely constant and determine the physical differences between male and female bodies. But not all differences between men and women are natural and fixed. Gender differences are socially constructed and vary from culture to culture. If people don't want to conform to these roles, we must respect that and not make fun of who they are. For example, when girls are not docile, they are called out for being spoilt or wayward, while boys who choose painting or dancing as a profession are mocked. It then becomes our responsibility to ask people enforcing these roles on men and women, Akhir aisa kyun? 